Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my Let's Play Chicken Run. From where we last left off, we rescued Ginger from the pie machine. Now we move on to Act Three. Let's get that again due to copyright policies. I can see a lot has changed here. But now let's move on to the Mac, other plan. Have you been able to do the drawing since we talked to Fowler about the old crate from his RAF days? I only wish we'd listened to his daring war stories more carefully. Fowler's provided the answer. Who needs Rocky anyway? Well, hey, I've been working on my calculations. And I think the idea of a flying machine will work. Excellent. I knew we'd be able to fly out of here. Let's see it. Well, here are my plans for the old crate. It has to be big to hold us all, but I've broken it down into three main components. We'll have to get all three built and working before we can fly over the fence. Now we've got three stages right here for the plane, or the old crate as they call it. To freedom. Oh, I can almost feel that grass under my feet. And again, just like with Act 2, we got three plans here. The en which is the engines, the engine, the construct the main body, and then the wings. We're going to go to the engine first, since it is the, the main source of the, of the plane's power. Firstly, we'll need a big engine. Well, I guess we have two options. Either Mr. Tweedy's car, or his old tractor in the barn. Well, I think the tractor is more suitable, and we'd never get into his car. It's a bit old, and hasn't been running for some time, so I guess we'll need to oil it well. Then we can drive the prop shaft from this, so we'll need a decent length of chain. Okay, they shouldn't be easy to get. Yes! This could actually work! I'll see what I can do. Okay, we'll assemble the engine in Hut 15. Now onto the main, the main body of the old crate. But what about the main body of the old crate? I figured out we should be able to convert one of the huts. Hut 10 would be good. What will it involve? Nice plan, hey. We'll need some cogs, some tools and planks of wood. OK. That should be no problem. But this is going to take time. And we mustn't be caught by Mr Tweedy. We'll need a lookout. Do you think you could get hold of his binoculars? Yes. They must be in the farmhouse somewhere. Now for the other part that keeps the plane flying, the wings. Now believe me, I know about plane travel. I'll probably explain that later. Have you worked out how we can build the wings? Oh, aye. We'll need some poles, twine and lots of laundry. Sounds like a good plan, Mac. We can build these in Hat 11. I think that's about it, really. We need an awful lot. Can I help you in? No, you coordinate the plan. I know a couple of rats who do this kind of stuff for a living. Problem is, they'll need paying. I know, those rats always want eggs. Well, I'll go and see Bunty in Hut too. She'll be well chuffed that she can help. Now you may notice here that this is... There's a disco ball here and a radio. Because if you've... Well, if you've seen the movie, you know the chickens were having a blast. You know, like a party. Before, Mr. before the pie, before the pie machine was active, you can see all the Christmas lights and everything. Now let's get out of here. Now Act Three here is a bit like Act One. We were set at night time, but we have we have two dogs like in Act Two. But I'll show you something before we and before we continue further on. Is everything going okay? Yes, Ginger. No problem. But you look as if you need a nice holiday. We'll all have a holiday once we get out of here, Babs. I have to keep going until I've got everything we need for the escape. Well, as long as you're happy. I don't know what Bunty's up to in Hut 2. Is she packing her things? <laughs> no, Babs. She's laying lots of eggs for us all. We're going to need them. Yeah, we really do. Because otherwise, how are we going to pay... How are we going to pay those rats? It's probably why they are Nick and Fetcher. 
I'm going to need to show you compartment D. Now, compartment D wasn't opened in Act 1. Now, you know, Act 1 and Act 3 are set around night time with the same music. Oh, there's another piece of the map here. By the way, this, when you start this game, you have to get all these pieces of the, of the map. Like, you, you know, like, for example, a map of infinity in Band 10 Ultimate Alien, where it was divided into four pieces. Although that was part of, like, Agrigor's plan. Well, his first part, the first part of his plan, plan was to capture those five aliens to absorb their powers. And this, the second part of the plan was to reassemble four pieces of the map of infinity. And his third and final goal was to get to the Forge of Creation and obtain the greatest power in the universe. Hang on, is that Mr. That Mrs. Tweety over there? That dartboard. No wonder the chickens despise her so much. Okay, I'll... Let's have them boil up. Okay, before I go into... Oh, I need to get rid of that dog first. Whew. That was a close one. Now we're gonna do something that you know, we're gonna go to hut two that has been available from the very beginning of the game. Oh, you notice Rocky's poster is still there. Although he's, he's going there to to get those eggs for those greedy rats, the Confetcher, who always demand to be paid. I mean, if Rocky stuck around, we had no problem. But no, we had to waste our time collecting those eggs, rats. Rocky has some other things going on here. So, he decided to check in out after his comment about flying matter. Mostly Rocky. As you can see here, Bunty lays two eggs at a time, the other two just lay one. So, a lot's happening away here. Bunty's a fucking jackpot chicken one. No, Ginger's one time friend. I can see you're a good egg, and I shall reward you with this bronze medal. Oh. <laughs> he just faints it. Also, so he fell down. That's a, that makes a change from him finding the medal. Now, what Random Blastoid said in his or her Let's Play, this is where it gets really tricky. Now, those rats, Nick and Fetcher, can be found in three different sections around the farm. The first is in, like, the egg sorting room, which we're going to go to first. And the second is in the Tweety's house. And the third is in the sewers, the right place where you'd expect a rat to be. Oh yeah, one thing I've got to show you is, when you go through this hole, you'll be in for a nasty surprise. Because if you look to your left, Mr. Tweety is right over there. And we don't want to get caught again. There's Mrs. Tweedy going out there, in that egg sorting room. Now, if you remember in Act 2, we waited behind that wall where she was, but we can't do that right now because she'll see us. No, oh, I was going to do that when her back is turned. But, oh, yeah, I need to show you what happens when you get caught by her in this act before I explain what she's been doing. Like, uh, like I did with Rocky. Oh! Oh, sorry! She just creeped me out! Then, then she does creep everybody out when you're playing this game. Let's try that again. Chickens. Now how scary is that, eh? She's like a ghost in this form. No, yeah. You'll notice that all Mrs. Tweedy ever does in this game is go in and out of this egg sorting room. Well, in Act 1, she wasn't in that room. But she kept like going in, in and out of doors and to windows and stuff. Maybe she's always too cautious. And we still don't know what's on that clipboard of hers. Now we're gonna go push those crates there to get up to that vent where Nick and Fetch are. If I remember rightly, to do this. Oh, God. Don't need to put some sprouts here. Wait for 
she is again. Now you have to admit, Mrs. Tweety is really scary when she comes into this place at night. Don't know why she walks around here so much. I mean, the room's not that big. I think she's too cautious on what is going on. Now we're gonna go meet Nick and Fetcher for the first time. This is my favourite of the three tasks. Hello. It's Attila. The hen. How can we help you, love? We have to get out of here and we need these things. Oh, I'm sure we can uh, come to some arrangement. Because we're desperate, I'm prepared to offer you six eggs. I think I must be dreaming. This is a big job, so uh, six eggs in advance will do nicely. I thought you'd say that, so I've got them here. Very nice. Good doing business with you, miss. We'll get just what you need. Meet later, back here. And make sure you don't forget anything. Okay. That's one question we should have always be answering. Why do these rats want those eggs anyway? I mean... Is it... Look at that! I've completed the map! <sighs> no easy task, that. Finding the pieces of the map. Well, is he? Yeah, like I said, this is my favourite of the three tasks of Nick and Fetcher. Now, onto them here. They do have their own strengths and weaknesses. Nick can push strong stuff, and Fetcher can double jump. You see, Nick can't do double jumps like Fetcher. Like, so. I need to get them to the pie machine that Mr. Tweedy is trying to repair. And there's those tools, which won't be easy to get. Can push these. All you have to do is push these buttons, and then he moves a lot. Oh! Oh! God! <laughs> Sorry, he caught me again. And oh yeah, it, if you notice there, if Mr. Tweedy here catches Nick and Fetcher, he says "thieving little buggers" instead of saying "no chicken escapes from Tweedy's farm" if he catches Ginger, and also Rocky. Well, because as you know, Nick and Fetcher aren't really chickens. He's really. A, He's less scary when he catches Nick and Fetcher. Like I was trying to say with Rocky, if you, at least if you, well, if you get caught while you're playing with Nick and Fetcher, you don't have to go far to retrieve the items. It's just when you're playing as Ginger when you go back that you have to worry about. Because, like, well, if you get caught while you're playing as Ginger, you have to go and get the eggs again to pay Nick and Fetcher again, which is a right waste of time here. Oh yeah, he knows what I did there. Oh yeah, I remember the funny stuff I done there years ago. Let me show you. Have <laughs> again? Oh, I jumped over there, but I should have gone to my left. <laughs> He's not damned as Mr. Tweedy here. <laughs> he can be sometimes, but let me show you that again. Yeah, you see that? That's what I remember doing. No, yeah, I want to show you something after I've pressed the buttons for the pie machine. <laughs> oh dear. That's one thing I need to show you after I've done this silly bit. Um, doing childhood. But the, the music really does make the nighttime level so scary. Watch this. Did you see that? He just turned round! So I sneaked up behind him! And oh yeah, I want to show you something really, really funny. <laughs> Well, he does by, by collecting the tools. <laughs> I need to get Fetcher out of there. I'll wait for him to bend down. Whoa! <laughs> no, that wasn't part of my plan. Let's try that again. Wait for him to bend down. Ah. Hey, you see that? 
see that? That's what I've been doing! I remember, guys, well, I remember him bending down to pick up the chores, and I go near him, he goes like, <laughs> oh. But, time to get back to the matter of hand here. We need to get the cogs and the tools. But we need to distract Mr. Tweedy first while he's repairing the pie machine. We need to get Fetcher to that bottom button. Oh god! Oof. I think he looked at me here, and is he half blind or something? Just one kid watching his boss do here. <laughs> Look at him! He's picking things up out of the, of the invisible toolbox! Acting like nothing's happened! <laughs> god, he's so stupid, is Mr. Tweedy. Acting like nothing's happened. Am I gonna get it? Yes! Whew. That was a neat. That wasn't hard? This is my favorite of them. I feel like I already said that. Let's get both rats back here. El Merchandizo. They Spanish. What did you manage to get? A box of the finest tools. An oil can. And a box of cogs, as you asked. That's fantastic! Brilliant work! Reward us well. Give us eggs. And we will always deliver. You really have this time. Thanks. Now if you thought getting in is hard, getting out is even harder. Oh, and I could do with Rocky. We need to wait for Mrs. Tweed to turn her back, like so. We have to get out as quickly as possible! Yep, like when you get out of here, as soon as you hear the dog growl, like, you have to make a run for it! Wait for the dog to go. I can find a hole, that is. <sighs> okay, need to get past these dogs right there. He keeps scratching himself. What if he's got fleas or something? He's going to Hut 15 to get these to deliver these components for the engine. We got the oil can. We got the oil can. We need to change in the engine later on. This should help you. Great. Max says we need an engine. Do you think we'll find one? My plan is to use the one from Mr. Tweedy's old tractor. Let's check my inventory. Yep. I need to make sure I haven't lost them. Yeah, we need to, we need to go into compartment C to show you something. There's something really, really, really cunning you have to watch out for. There's not just a dog in here, and there's also, yep, there's Mr. Tweedy. I don't know how he gets around. Maybe he's just checking to see if the chickens are up to something. You know, like in the movie. Oh, crap. Dogs on patrol. Oh, how am I gonna get past him now? Oh god, this is making things awkward. I found this. Is it for you? No, sorry, I'm making the wings, so I don't need that. Perhaps you could show Mac, or have another look at your plans. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I wasn't meant to do that. Need to go into compartment D. I mean, there's not really that much in the other huts. 
just the important ones for the plants. Gosh, this is heavy. It looks it. Well done, Ginger. I'm halfway there now. Brilliant. I only wish I trusted those rats. Yeah, you could say that. Now, in this one, we're going to be saving a lot. We have all the components we need for the old crate. Just like the plane they were building. Let's take a look at my plans. Okay, we've got the oil can. So we need the chains and the engine next. And for the wings, we need laundry, poles, and a piece of yarn. And we need the binoculars and the plank of wood. Let's turn that dog off. want to save just in case. Now I'm gonna have to cut off here, so I will see you next time if we continue on for the building of the old crate. So until then, bye!